Welcome back to Hemi Chang Eats. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on, on cooking fried rice. Um, I'm calling it how to cook fried rice. Uh, once you learn the basic techniques uh, that I show you on the video, you're gonna be able to apply that to your future fried rice and add any ingredients that you like. And so it's not gonna be my fried rice, it's gonna be your fried rice. So, you know, it could be Alan's fried rice or Melanie's fried rice or, uh, you know, King Kamehameha's fried rice, whatever you like, whatever you like. Uh, use the ingredients that you have at home. I personally love to use um, leftovers, like leftover steak or leftover pork chop or mochico chicken. Man, I slice that up and throw that in there. So, uh, we're going to show you how to make the fried rice. You're going to learn the basic techniques. Take those techniques and make it your own. Let's get to it. Okay, my pan is hot, so I'm going to throw in my canola oil, tablespoon and a half. Okay, I got the rice in the pan. I'm going to press it down and separate it as best I can. And then I'm going to shake the pan a little bit, get the rice moving, um, give it a couple of flips. And what I'm trying to do here is to get the oil onto the rest of the rice. And the goal is to break these big clumps of rice down to a single layer. Let the rice cook for a few minutes. It'll make separating the rice much easier. I'm gonna add the shoyu or soy sauce. I like to work in circles. That allows me to circle into a spot that needs a little bit more shoyu and then I can circle back out. All the while adding flavor to the rice. You wanna let the rice cook without stirring it too much. So here's my shake test. If you can shake that pan and it doesn't move, it's not ready. I let the rice cook for another three minutes and as you can see it's released and it's ready to flip. You see that crispy layer of rice on the bottom? That's what we're looking for. But you can't get there if you're constantly stirring your rice. I'm going to mix the rice up by giving it a couple of flips and I'm going to move the rice to the back of the pan and turn the heat down to a low medium. This is going to keep the rice off of direct heat. I'm going to shift the pan back so that I can heat up that little surface. I'm going to add some canola oil so I can heat up some garlic and not burn this rice. I let the oil heat up in the pan for another minute. And now I'm going to add the garlic. And I'm going to move this garlic into the hot oil to start the cooking. Then I'm going to turn the pan side to side. And this is going to cook the garlic as it moves across the surface of the pan. Back and forth. Just making my job easier. It already smells amazing for reals. After about 45 seconds of cooking, the garlic is done and ready to incorporate in the rice. Incorporating the rice at light speed. Here's the rice, soy sauce, and garlic. Lychee! I didn't say lychee! I said light speed! I'm going to move the rice to the back of the pan again so I can add some oil and cook my fluffy scrambled egg. The oil is hot enough to add the eggs. I have six eggs here with a tablespoon of water. Helps to keep the eggs nice and fluffy when you cook them. Make sure you let the eggs cook for about two to three minutes before you start stirring. Uh, so these have sit for a couple of minutes. So I'm just kind of going through methodically breaking the eggs off the bottom of the pan. This is a low medium heat. And I like to shift the eggs around, the cooked eggs. It's going to bring it all down so I get all the liquid stuff on the bottom of the pan. And then I'm just going to move that around. The big stuff is going to come up on the top and the liquid's going to go down on the bottom. That way I can get the heat on the pan and get those eggs cooked. Being patient here is important. I'm just moving the eggs back and forth. And before you know it, these eggs are firming up and they're looking pretty good here. And this all really happens in just a couple of minutes. 
But look how fluffy the eggs are. We're ready to incorporate the eggs into the rice. And we're going to speed it up now. Double speed, mix in the rice, mix in the rice. Give it a couple pan flips. The secret ingredient is, it's just butter. But the butter is another building block of flavor that we're adding to the rice. Let's get this butter incorporated into the rice so we can move on to the next step, which is adding the Spam. Here's the Spam that we cooked previously. Let's just add it right on the top. I'm going to incorporate all the ingredients so we get a nice balance of all the flavors. We're going to do this a little bit faster, but I want to make sure that every single bite has rice, egg, and Spam. You get a whole meal in each bite. And that is how you make crispy fried rice.